Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of this iCarsoft CR Pro scanner. Now, the reason that I'm standing here with my Audi and my Mercedes is that I've purchased this scanner on the understanding that this scanner has all of the specialist functions for both Audi and Mercedes. So after we've unboxed it, we're just going to do a quick dive into the features and just check that it really does. By the way, I have contacted iCarsoft and they've told me that it has all of the features that you would have in the specialist model of the V2 series for both of these vehicles, but let's check it out. So before we get into it too far, just a quick rundown of all of the features that are supposedly in the CR Pro. So it's listed as a DIY tool for general reading of codes, obviously OBD2. It's got the steering adaption, calibration, it's got the DPF cleaning, the BMS function for when you've got a battery monitoring system, that's particularly useful on the Audis. The ABS bleeding, injector coating, that'll be useful on the Mercedes. Obviously oil reset, which is a must on your Volkswagen Audi group. So let's get into it with the unboxing. So obviously it's come in a cardboard box. And as we slide it out of the cardboard box, you can see it's in this nice pouch. Now this is very similar, obviously, to the standard V2 iCarsoft soft for the specialist vehicles. It's got the pouch in there with the instruction manuals and some silicon pouch. Another silicon pouch. And that's it there. I can tell that the pouch is actually slightly different to the BRWS2. It had an extra Velcro pocket, not that, that matters. So here's the actual device itself. It's got that protective cover on it, so it's obviously never been used. And it's got your cable here to connect to the vehicle and the USB cable to obviously upload uh, new versions of firmware to the device. So we're gonna start by trying this scanner on the Audi here. Now you may have seen a previous video which I've done, which actually shows that in this vehicle, you can't change the oil service indicator counter. So we'll start with that. Let's see if we can actually change the oil service counter using this scan tool. We know that's a specialist Audi Volkswagen function, and that'll prove this scanner actually has the specialist capabilities that we're talking about. All right, so to see the current oil service counts, I've just popped the keys in the ignition and turned the ignition to the on position. We then just pull the right stalk, and you see currently it says oil change in 14,100 kilometres, 278 days. Service the same. So let's see if we can actually reset this counter. All right, so we start by plugging the OBD2 port into the port under the footwell. So we just plug it in like that. So straight away when you plug it in it comes on and then you can see we can select service press enter we can hit oil reset come down to audi hit enter again then we can come to vehicle select a3 it wants the ignition on Press enter, and we'll do oil reset, major maintenance, 30,000 kilometers, 730 days, communicating please wait, reset succeeded, please reset for the minor maintenance. All right, so come back into the tool, select minor maintenance, we will come to the high efficiency oil, communicating. Okay, reset succeeded. Let's check the instrument cluster. There you go. So you can see it's updated to say oil change in 15,365 days and service in 30,000 kilometers, 730 days. So we are done. So there you go, folks. That shows that we can absolutely do the Audi specialist functions with this 
CR Pro iCar soft device, as we know that in this vehicle, we can't actually reset that major interval uh, without this device. So that's just fantastic that we've been able to do that here today. So now let's just try it out on the Mercedes. And what we might do there is look up some of the specific Mercedes transmission functions that I know are specialist Mercedes and they're not the generic OBD2. So same thing on the Mercedes, the OBD2 port is under the driver's footwell, except with the Mercedes, it's got this little flap which you flick down like that. And then straight away you can see the port. So you just plug your cable straight in. Just like that. And as per the Audi, it comes on straight away. So let's jump in the car. And we'll actually run some diagnostics for the Mercedes. So I'll close the door and I'll actually start the engine. We'll go into some of the transmission features. All right, so we'll go into diagnostics. Got the engine running. So as I said, I wanna go into some transmission settings. So you can see diagnostics for Mercedes-Benz. Go into the version there. Okay, so now we've got to select our model. So it's an ML class. And it's W164 chassis. It's diesel. And this particular model is actually an ML 300. We're going to go into manual. As I said, because I'm quite keen to come into the transmission control module. And we might actually uh, re read fault codes to start with. So fortunately there's no fault codes on this transmission. But let's look at the live data. So we can go into, oh, so everything's activated there. Let's go back. Let's go into oil check, which I know is a function. All right. So here, this menu is specifically set up so we can set the oil level because on this transmission, you have to get the temperature up to uh, 35 degrees from memory. So we can see, we can select gears targets it we can put it in reverse and back into park fantastic shift programs fantastic so we can see all the data here and what the transmission is actually doing output speeds, turbine speeds. So we could select these, press F2 to start, and you can see the RPMs. Obviously it's in neutral at the moment. So the output's zero, whereas the turbine is spinning at the uh, engine RPM. So you can see we've got all that live data. So whilst I have focused specifically here today on Mercedes and Audi, because that's what I've got, let's just run through all of the specialist vehicles, which this iCar Soft CR Pro can actually cater for. So obviously you've got the BMW Mini Land Rover, you've got the Jaguar, Mercedes Benz Smart Sprinter, you've got the Volkswagen Audi, you've got the Skoda, the Seat Porsche, Volvo, Saab, Opel, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, Lancia, the Peugeot, Citroen, Renault, the Dacia, GM, Jeep, Chrysler, Ford, Holden, Toyota, Lexus, Skion, Nissan, Infiniti, Acura, Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Isuzu, Suzuki, Kia, Hyundai, Daewoo. So all in all, quite a comprehensive list of specialty features and vehicles which this iCarSoft CR Pro can do
beyond the normal OBD2 functions. So there you go, folks. There's the unboxing and review of the iCarsoft CR Pro scanner. And I've just tested it on the Audi and Mercedes to show that it actually really does have the specialist functions which it claims to have of the independent vendors. I can now, with confidence, on sell my iCarsoft 980 and the iCarsoft VAWS2, which you've seen me demonstrate previously on the channel. Importantly, I've actually got one device and I'm just not clutching up. But with the V2, I've got all of those additional functions now, which I didn't have, such as the ABS brake bleed, the BMS battery coding for the Audis, etc. So I've got a lot more functions just in the one unit. If you have liked this video, folks, do feel free to like, share, subscribe to the next one. Have a good evening.